All right, welcome to today's video. It's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my mods. My most popular videos are my Hulk mods. So I'm gonna jump into this very quickly. First things first, what I use for the Incredible Hulk came in 2008. And since this is the PC version, we can mod other versions. I use text mod. Now text mod is very easy to use very old software it's free you can download it it's very small in size very basic as you can see open the folder find your game executable and first thing you're gonna go into logging mode everything should be by default uh, the output format PNG log with this is the key you're gonna use to draw out the textures Choose whatever you want. Pick enter. Easy peasy. And the output folder, which is this folder, out. This is where the textures are gonna be dropped. So you click run. Now it's gonna open the game that you've chosen the executable for. I'm gonna open it very fast. It's an old game. See this green? Everything that turns this green means that this texture is highlighted and when you press the key that you've selected, be it enter or whatever you chose, when you press the key, this texture is going to be dropped into your out folder. So we're going to go into story so we can get our Hulk model. See now I have all these buildings. You can get the texture of all of this. All. And with your plus and minus keys on your keyboard, you can cycle through all the textures. See how some flash green? See the Hulk's hair? See? This is the hair texture. You take this out if you want him to look a little bald. If you're doing costumes like like I did with uh, Deadpool with Venom, I don't want I don't want the hair because the hair is gonna it's gonna ruin things. It's not gonna look good because you're gonna have Venom with hair on top of his head. It doesn't make any sense. So you choose this. You press Enter. Takes out the texture. Then you go again. You have this is your Hulk texture. Press Enter takes this texture they both drop in the out folder now we get out the game boom we go into our out folder these are the textures and this log file this log file has both names of the textures that we dropped out the hair and Hulk himself now the hair this one is I've, I've worked on this one this is what I use for my mod it's, it's basically nothing so the hair is transparent it's not existent and this is the Hulk section that we got, which is basic. And you can open it with Photoshop, uh, anything that you use for editing, any software. If you already have software like Photoshop, because you know Photoshop is a paid software. I don't use Photoshop uh, for my drawings. I use Clip Studio Pro, and I've bought this software. It's the one that gives me best results and for editing I have one show for more so I don't use Photoshop but for these mods I don't use clip studio paint it's more for drawing than editing so I'm gonna open this texture with Jimp and Jimp is free it's completely free software it's image man manipulation program Jimp it has all the tools you need to edit so we have this very simple edit whatever you want but make sure to use layers see I'm gonna create a new layer called gray let's say you know we're working on Colossus or something and I'm you know these are his hands so 
we're gonna choose a brush tool um, you can use this use the mouse you know I use a tablet I have a Wacom tablet I use that because I'm more familiar with it and it's easier for me to use it than use a tablet so uh, then use the mouse so I use this so you turn the hand gray like say this is colossal you know these are the fingers and it's all like that this is the gray now we're gonna create a new layer called lines and you know how Colossus has you know lines on his hand uh, you know, kind of we need to change the brush I haven't you know assigned the tablet to have all shortcuts on jump oops so you know it has like these lines so you have that and the reason why I want to use layers see I'm on the lines layer now I can erase the line if I'm not happy with how it came out or I want to edit it and you know try again I can erase the lines without affecting the gray or if we go into the gray layer we have the gray and we can erase the gray without erasing the lines now another thing important about layers is stacking the layers in appropriate order see if the lines are on top of gray if I go to gray and I cannot draw whoops we're with the eraser still I cannot draw over the lines because lines are on top of gray so anything I do in gray the lines are still gonna be on top so let's say I switch the color um, say to black if I do black see the black is under lines if I remove lines it's on top of gray but if you put gray over lines lines are under so if we remove gray we can see the lines see it's very simple layering like layers are one of the most important things not even when it comes to drawing but basic image manipulation it doesn't matter if you use jimp photoshop clip studio paint putting your layers in the right order to have this effect is very important we're not gonna and uh, another example I can give you is uh, let's say I open my baby group drawing and uh, clip studio paint it's a very basic example so see all of my layers we have sketch we have brown we have lines see these are the lines and here we have sketch this is the just a rough rough sketch uh, this is the sketch you know these are rough approximates of what I want it to look like and then I did the lines over and made it look with you know simple corrections and then remove the sketch and this is the coloring see it's very basic Oh, now I can go okay makes sense so what do we what what do you think is gonna happen when I put brown over lines see brown covers all of the line art and we don't want that we want the lines to be over the brown so you put lines over brown and there you have it it's very simple work on layers so make sure that we don't want to save anything make sure that you get your layers and the order of the layers that you want how you want it so this was about text mod and uh, Hulk and how you edit so when you have your both of your files ready 
go into text mod, go to package build. You find your log, which is here, text mod out log with the two files that you've worked on. Put a creator name, putting my name, a comment, anything you want. Uh, my first mod, whatever. You could click build, it adds the textures, and it goes into texture package files. TPF. All the text mod files are in TPF. See my Bane, my Deadpool, my Red Hulk, Spider Hulk, Venom, and you save it in whatever place you want. These are all the mods that I've worked on. Now that you have your TPF file, go to package mode, go to this folder, open any any of these that you like. Open Bane, see, created by T-Bone, put a comment, Bane, and when you run the game, this mod is gonna be, and Bane replaced the professor costume, so simple as that. Run the game, your mod's done. Every mod that you've seen on uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, The Amazing Spider-Man games, Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, X-Men Origins, any games that came out in that time period, they all use text mod and TPF files, at least when it comes to texture mods, when it comes to mods for health, super jump, and all of that stuff. Those are different mods. Here we're talking basic texture mods. The other mods that I've worked on are for Hulk Ultimate Destruction for the GameCube. Now that's a bit of a different story. And from text mod, we're gonna jump to games, emulators, GameCube, Dolphin, and we're gonna open Dolphin Emulator. Now, what Dolphin does, you go into graphics, you go to advanced, and you have dump textures and load custom textures. And you can see in the description, dump decoded game textures to user dump textures game ID. You check this, just dump textures, close, open the game you want, and go into documents, go to Dolphin Emulator, dump textures, and here I have the two game IDs that I've dumped textures from. This is Spider-Man 2 and this is Hulk. Open hold for these are all the textures in the game. Every single texture in the game is right here. Everything you need. And you can work on all of these textures. See the map, terrain, title screen, anything. And here you have basic hold textures. So you take this, you open it up in Photoshop, Jimp, whatever you want, edit however you want and see the one I've done is the spider-man one see here's the torso the back the pants the face the eyeball see this is what I've done over this texture and made it this so now this file I go and put again dolphin emulator but I put it into load textures and this is the game the Hulk Ultimate Destruction ID and I put the file in here go to Dolphin graphics again advanced remove the check from dump textures put one in load custom textures and you see in the description it loads custom textures from user load textures game ID so you have that and when you run the game it opens up all textures from all the game IDs that you have here and in the game that it's going to load the one that's going to load is this one. This is kind of a more refined version. You know, the eyes a little better. This thing is just not a square, you know, it has more of a shape. And the logo, this is a hand-drawn logo, you know, and it'll blend in. The black is better. So this is the one that's going to load in the game. And this is just like a prototype. This logo is a logo from the internet. An image pasted and just made it blend in. The eye is hand drawn as you can see the lines and this is just a square so the black is also not very good. But if I want I can put this into the folder and have load this one because it's going to replace this file. This is like a backup one. And you know when you run the game it loads and you can do it any game. Harry Potter, One Piece, Prince of Persia, X-Men Legends, Dev Jam. You can take the textures, work on them with whatever software you want. 
simple as that that's all for today's video i hope it was helpful because i have gotten questions on how do i make it work how do i run the mods how do i make them simple as that so if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i hope i catch you all in the next video